Hey everybody, this is Jimmy with Easy HOA. Thanks for taking some time to watch this quick little video on how to use the voting and survey tool within our Easy HOA management software. Uh, from your dashboard, you would go down to voting and surveys. And obviously this is a demo site here, so you can see that we've already set up some voting campaigns and some survey campaigns. But if you want to start a brand new voting campaign, this would be for something formal that you actually need to take a formal vote on. Um, you would create the voting campaign here and you would select the recipients and whether you want it to go to, um, to them via email or text. Uh, this is kind of cool. You can send it to all owners, to just board members or to authorized voters. Um, I'll show you here in a second how to control who is an authorized voter or not. Um, so that would be a new voting campaign. If you um, come back and go to the survey campaign, this would be for more of an informal survey. Uh, say, for example, you wanted to spend some of the HOA money and build an, um, some new amenities for the park. Um, and you wanted to take a poll on which amenities people wanted to have in the park as far as like a barbecue grill or a shade structure or a new playground you can go here and add a survey campaign. And when you create the survey campaign, um, you create the title, start date, and share it with who you want to share it with. But then what you would do is you attach a form to it. Um, so for example, if you want to create a brand new form um, to go as assigned to that particular survey, you, know, you title the form and then um, put in a description. And then you can add questions to the form um, and what's cool about this is um, it's an actual customizable form so that you can go in and put different yes or no questions. Um, you can have uh, a rating scale, uh, some check boxes, drop down, these different options that you can utilize when you're building your survey. And then once you're done um, at, at building that form, you can formally attach it to the survey and then send out the survey so that people can fill it out. Um, so here, here's an example of a form that's been completed. Um, it's a fund allocation survey. Like I just mentioned in the example, um, you could ask people, are you interested in spending some of the HOA reserve funds to improve the common area? Yes or no. And then choose one of the following options, a new playground, mountain biking, park, shade structure, barbecue pits. So those are just some examples of how you can use this form builder. Um, once you're done with a voting campaign or a survey campaign, What's nice is you can actually come in and see the results. So um, you can click on results for this particular board president election vote, and you can see how people voted. Uh, really awesome tool. We just launched this a couple months ago. We're really excited about this. Um, the way I did mention to you guys, I was going to show you how to control um, how you select what, what, uh, um, owner, what owner of the of the HOA actually has voting privileges? So when you go to the actual unit page and you come here to where it shows the owners in that unit, um, you can set that particular owner as an authorized voter. Uh, right now, it shows that Sandra Claire Horton is the authorized voter slash owner of this particular property. 104 Twin Oaks Drive. So um, if you needed to change that. Um, keep in mind for formal votes, only one owner can be a, a formal voter um, in that particular property. That way you don't, you keep it even and uh, uniform all throughout the HOA. So anyways, we're really excited about this feature. Um, let us know uh, what questions you guys have about it. Um, always feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we have a really great support team. Thanks for stopping by and uh, uh, stay tuned for one of our next videos. Thanks.